Hi, I'm Brian Page. I'm Senior Integration Engineer at Cross Automation. Recently, we've got involved with uh, deploying artificial intelligence. There are a number of devices on the market, all the way from simple small cameras that do one thing, all the way up to software systems that can combine a lot of very technical and advanced uh, technology. Almost all AI systems that are available to use as machine learning come in three very distinct categories. One is anomaly recognition. Second is characterization or classification. And the third is detection models. The model I'll start with is the anomaly model. This is where you basically train the AI system with good images of your product or of the situation. You give it as many pictures as you can of what is good, and then you let it go, and it will detect and recognize things that are outside of that, things that are bad. This is useful, particularly in inspection, because we don't have to know all of the defects and all of the anomalies that we're looking for. So if new anomalies come up or new uh, production problems come up, the AI should automatically recognize that as not being part of the good set. The next section would be classification. In this method, we would work with the customers to help them classify their product in terms of sorting. One very quick example would be a, a, a produce uh, packager or even a, a produce seller where they could determine whether or not the, the product that is in the scene is an apple, an orange, or a banana, as an example. Uh, we can get into very specific things with customers that perhaps are making different part numbers that are all going down the same packaging line, and we can sort, help them sort them based on, on what the, the AI is. The last model would be a detection model. In a detection model, uh, it kind of combines the, the previous two in terms of being able to recognize a particular object, like a classifier would do, and even be able to recognize that object in terms of its quality, like an anomaly model will do. But a detector has the unique capability of giving us the position of the item in the screen uh, with mathematical coordinates, etc. Uh, these coordinates or this information can then be coupled with a robot, for example, to guide the robot to pick up that particular device. A, a detecting model can be used to, for example, pull out bad product or could even be used to sort different products as well by placing them on different conveyors or on different, uh, into different boxes. If you think this technology can help your specific situation, give us a call at Cross Automation. We represent a whole range of devices and systems. We have partnerships with software companies, and we can put together very comprehensive systems, including the inspection and ongoing data collection and continuous improvement systems.